we are shredding yellow today as you can see here and um, so yeah that's our shredder and I just wanted to I thought I, I just explain uh, what it's all about where that shredder comes from if I built it because uh, lots of people actually ask that and um, maybe how you can make your own or get your own I am so excited that I have this thing it's so cool and uh, the reason for why it's so crucial for me is that um, so first thing when you shred it it actually um, reduces the volume of the plastic so uh, that was always a problem that I didn't have enough space um, lids are fairly small um, but even those uh, they have basically air in between them and um, if you shred it down you get it to at least half if not a third of the volume in total and that for me is really crucial so I, I just got the volume down really, really well and the other part is that it is when it's shredded you know, um, the shredded stuff is way easier to um, to melt as well because it's got more surface area and um, yeah it's easier and especially if you have bigger things like these kind of containers you have to um, you have to be able to shred the plastic right and yeah I just go through it so uh, what we have here is um, the main piece of course is the actual shredder with the knives on it so I can actually move this uh, this is the hopper um, it's got a lid on it as you can see as well and um, so that is the lid is basically just to make sure that the um, caps don't or the plastic doesn't just fly out <laughs> and it, it would so if, if I have this open, the stuff actually flies up. Um, and this hopper is actually really well designed. It's, uh, the size is perfect. And it's also, it's got, a, um, it got, it's got hinges at the back and I can just lift it like this uh, when there's a problem or just for general service. Just hit that um, emergency button here. Um, just to make sure that there's uh, nothing happening. So uh, stuff gets stuck inside there sometimes and you've got to tidy it up a bit. Here you, here you can see the knives up close and this is actually, um, a, it's a really good size, it's perfect for me. And um, yeah, so the precious plastic um, shredder that you may know of, um, the version 4 has two different um, shredders and there's one small one that is as uh, you can drive with the single phase power supply and then there's a big one that is a three phase power supply so this one is actually slightly larger longer it's got uh, it's got more knives than the small shredder that they have uh, but it's still single phase so uh, and that was important for me that it's single phase and uh, yeah so so yeah, I get enough um, plastic in at the same time and I can, I can go through quite a lot. So lots of people ask me if I build this myself, uh, you know, the other machines as well. And luckily I did not have to build this myself. I wanted to, I, I've been planning on doing it and I've got uh, gotten quotes for the parts and, um, you know, ha I had already uh, bought a, a motor for it and, and things like that. The um, thing is, uh, in New Zealand, it's not that easy to get the parts. So, um, yeah, you, you have to find someone who can actually um, probably plasma cut those um, uh, metal pieces for the actual shredder part. And then you need to find a gearbox that fits. And then you have to find a motor that can drive that gearbox. And um, yeah, and then the, ele the electrics as well. So. So basically I was really lucky that I found someone who didn't uh, need his anymore and I was able to buy it and uh, at a fairly good price. So yeah, and it, it still works perfectly fine. Basically now you see all the parts here. Um, of course the hopper explained. Um, but basically what's driving it is the motor. This is a, just an electric motor and it's got, uh, it's 2.2 kilowatts. Uh, it's, it's 230 volts and single phase 
and uh, so that I, that was important for me because I wanted to drive it, uh, you know, use it in my garage, which doesn't have three-phase uh, power supply. And then it's driving via a belt here. It's driving the gearbox, and so in the gearbox, it's actually it's just translating the the speed into the speed that we want here. And it's um, yeah, it's basically got gears in it so that it it um, translates the this this fast movement of the motor into this um, slower movement here and then it's um, connected here with this I don't know how it's called so it's connected here to the actual shredder part and I can actually pull this apart and there are four bushings that are um, uh, basically where the connection is and yeah so and this is how it came with these parts so this desk was there already the shredder part the um, the gearbox the, all the connections and the, the motor and the belt and um, what didn't come with it was this electrical box that now has a motor overload in it so in case you know something gets stuck in the shredder or something is wrong with the motor you know the motor is mechanically somehow seized it doesn't um, yeah it, it can't go anymore then uh, the motor overload as a, a high current is drawing will trip and it will just turn it off and then I've got another safety button here just to uh, turn it off real quick in case something happens you know and um, yeah and then I've got an on on off switch here that's basically all it does so if you are interested in getting one of those shredders or uh, building one you can actually build a shredder like this yourself um, and the cool part about that is the precious plastic community because they're actually on the precious plastic website they are providing the blueprints the drawings everything you need uh, for free on the website um, on precious plastic I will link the the page below where you find everything about the shredder there's two different ones the um, the single phase one, small one and then the three phase big uh, chunky shredder that can actually uh, you know that, that can probably this type of plastic through the the big one uh, this one can't do that it's just a single phase shredder it's strong enough for um, like I could so I can definitely do like big bottle caps um, which is what I mostly do I could probably put something like this through as well so it can do this at the same time and then I have to wait for uh, a few seconds until they are gone and then um, I can put more in yeah so that is the shredder and I hope you got something out of this and yeah I hope you're happy with that Thank <laughs> you.